Welcome back to another edition of Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. I'm your host, Pete Bursich. Well, the Minnesota Vikings on the day after Christmas take on the Los Angeles Rams. Now, these Rams have a star-studded lineup, but then also some familiar names, guys like Matthew Stafford. So let's take a deep dive on these Rams and see what the Minnesota Vikings are going to be up against on Sunday. Now, when we take a look at the film, the first thing you got to look at is Aaron Donald. Aaron Donald is an absolute animal. So first play, you watch Aaron Donald. He's on the right-hand side, three technique. And just watch what he does to this other human being. I mean, it's amazing the power and the speed. He gets off the football, gets his hands inside of the offensive lineman, and then he just takes this guy and pushes him on roller skates all the way into the quarterback, dumps him on his rear end and continues to chase, and then Murray falls down for the sack. I mean, you just don't see defensive you don't see human beings doing that to other human beings without getting arrested i mean it's it's just unbelievable what this guy is capable of all right so he can win with power now in this case he does a wonderful job with leverage meaning he starts up the field and then settles and as soon as he settles the offensive guard does the same thing he gets his hands on him and then the guard thinks he's going to get trucked again boom pulls the arm out club rip underneath Murray just goes down he has nowhere to go you, you can't you just like I said don't find guys who can beat people with power and then turn around and beat them with technique and finesse now what does this mean well you saw two sacks right there but you'll see Aaron Donald again at the three technique gets himself upfield gets the guard to cross his feet spins underneath as Murray's getting ready to release his football he has Aaron Donald right in his face gets that thing off does not even see the linebacker underneath jumps up interception huge play for the Rams as the Cardinals run the four yard line so when you can get turnovers there put pressure on the quarterback those things are huge and that's how they win these football games now this next play I think is a perfect example you have five guys on the line of scrimmage keep an eye on the on the linebacker because Ernest Jones is going to be end up being the guy putting pressure on the quarterback you're going to see the two, def two defensive ends, they drop. So this ends up only being a four-man rush. You'll see Ernest Jones get all the way through, and then boom, you miss a wide-open wide receiver further down the field. So for Kyler Murray, he has an open wide receiver. We've seen how accurate he can be, but with that pressure in his face, he just doesn't get there. That's what these DBs from the L.A., from the Rams, count on. They count on this inaccuracy due to pass rush. All right, next play, you'll see Aaron Donald lined up up top and outside of him oh by the way is von miller so <laughs> if you're an offensive lineman and you have donald next to von miller whew, that's going to be a long day but you'll see miller coming off the top and just really bury this tackle but watch what happens at the bottom of your screen a little head nod by the wide receiver the cornerback actually falls on the ground so when he's at the 10 yard line he's as wide open as a wide receiver could be. But we'll take a look at the end zone view. You see Aaron Donald line up on the left side as the defensive end, and then just outside comes Von Miller, and Von Miller does the same thing. Takes the offensive lineman down the middle, bumps him into Kyler Murray. Murray is just getting rid of this football because he feels his pocket collapsing, the pressure getting to him, and what should be an easy touchdown, incomplete pass. Two touchdowns now, two opportunities to score that the Cardinals missed. Now, I think this play right here just shows you how good Odell Beckham can be and, that, and how he and Stafford are kind of getting on the same page. So you'll see Beckham Jr. get to about the 50-yard line. He knows that corner is outside, but he'll turn this thing back underneath. You can watch this ball that Stafford throws. He's really throwing this football before Beckham's really even into his break. And there's that little bit of a window in there. Great throw and catch inside of the corner underneath the safety that is a great throw and catch and a great combination so the other thing that old Dell Beckham can do is run after the catch now you'll notice here empty formation these are five receivers you have three up top two on bottom but Odell Beckham Jr. is in the slot on the bottom and this is basically a pick route you're going to see two of those receivers on top are just running interference therefore the linebacker has to pick this thing up 
Beckham Jr. catches this ball about the 38, turns and runs, and there's no way this linebacker is going to catch him. This is a 44-yard reception on a five- or six-yard throw down the field. So they do a lot of things. If you want to play man, they're going to find a way to get Beckham Jr. open. The other guy you can't forget about is Cooper Cup. You want to play single high safety? Well, this is what's going to happen. And this is a nice route by Cup because he really sells this thing up the field. When he gets up the field, sees the safety in the middle of the field, He's going to get that arm in there and then break to the opposite sideline. Stafford, unmolested, could just set that thing up, heave it deep, and another huge play down the field to Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup is a very good route runner. Okay, another guy that you have to keep an eye on is Van Jefferson. Now, he's up on top, and this is what they like to do. Play action, block it up, get to the top of the rollout. You have Odell Beckham Jr. at about the 45, and he's going to run this post, but he's just trying to hold the free safety. So the safety sees it a little bit too late, and by that time, he's already even with, with Jefferson. And what a great, great throw by Stafford to get that thing down the field. A huge explosive play, touchdown. When Stafford is safe and secure in the pocket, he can really throw this football all, all over the field. Now, in the running game, you have Sony Michel. Sony Michel, good solid running back. So watch this left guard, David Edwards. He does a great job on this play. They bend back the tight end, but you'll see Edwards right at the mesh point. He plants that foot and just, mm, he cuts off that nose tackle. That provides that lane as the tight end swings across, kicks out on the outside linebacker. Sony Michel has this huge, huge lane, and he's able to take this thing up and down the field for about 11, 12 yards. So a nice job with the cutback running game. They do a good job up front with the zone and that offensive line. Again, watch the left, ta left guard, David Edwards, and the job that he does gets underneath that defensive tackle and then is able, right at the mesh point, as he hands this ball off to Michelle, feels that lineman cross his face and just keeps on pushing him and pushes him right past the pile. Michelle is able to kind of step, cut, keeps those feet turning and gets another four or five yards to the good. So Sony Michelle is a good solid running back and he has some people up in front, but we have to stop the run. 